Kids Sydney here at Fashionation. I just wanted to check in and make sure y'all are taking care of your platform shoes correctly. I know what you're thinking. What do you mean taking care of my platform shoes? I didn't know I had to do that. Well, you do. There are rules. They are important and we're going to go over them right now. Number one, no deep bending. If you're going to bend over and pick something up, make sure you keep that heel on the ground. The reason we say this is because if you do that deep bends, they don't give right here. So the only place they're going to give is this back seam and you're gonna rip your shoe apart. Rule number two, you wanna make sure your zippers are down all the way every time, just so that next time you slip your foot in the boot, you don't pop it open because your zipper will break and we don't want that. And finally, rule number three, if you drive, you're not driving in these babies. Bring your Crocs, whatever, drive in those and slip these bad boys on afterwards. That way we're all staying safe. Thank you guys, hope this helps. The bats have bled, the bell tower, the victims have been bled. So what you want me to do? Kill it! You saw it first! You killed You're the man! Since when? This is... ...punk secrets, eh? I mean, to start off with, if you haven't listened to Rail Yard Ghost, they're definitely one that you should go listen to. But also, I personally like everything from Johnny Hobo. Or Pat the Bunny, or Ramshackle Glory, or Wing That Dishwashers Union, or whatever name he's going under. I've seen some people try to say that the front bottoms are folk punk, but I don't think they are. I think they're more like Midwestern emo. I kind of agree with Scumrags on that one. Now it's time for some more serious secrets about the folk punk life. If you don't already know or if you're not already part of the community, you probably know that a lot of folk punks tend to be homeless. They also tend to be travelers. So what we do is we try to keep them safe. If you see somebody sleeping on the streets and somebody's trying to like go through their pockets, make sure that doesn't happen. If you have a traveler friend and you happen to be in a home and they're coming through your town, maybe let them squat at your house. The music doesn't have to be good, it just has to feel good. The punk community, especially the folk punk community, is accepting of everyone. You're only a poser if you call other people posers. And elitists aren't welcome here. Let me know if you want a part two.
if you're an alt girl, can you please use this sound and, you know, show me your regular bad bitch self, um, and then also show me what you have to wear when you go to work. Thank you. I'm officially off the rails. You should try it. Have I ever alternative girl edition? Put a finger down if you have a nose or a septum piercing. Put a finger down if you stand 21 pilots at one point. Put a finger down if you had a red hair face. Put a finger down if you had a turquoise hair face. Put a finger down if you have more than three chokers. Put a finger down if you describe yourself as goth, scene, or emo. Put a finger down if you hate being called an e girl. Put a finger down if you have been in a mosh pit. Put a finger down if you have or have been told you have a resting bitch face. Put a finger down if you have or want multiple tattoos. Put a finger down if you wanted a pastel goth aesthetic at one point in your life. Put a finger down if you wanted or got snake bites. Put a finger down if you wear platforms like every day. And put a finger down if you know all the lyrics to My Chemical Romance's Helena. I don't care what you say, I know one thing, so they all love you like I do. This is totally an epic poggers moment.